So this is my first 3D scanning project and actually I do not know what I am doing. The process goes something like this, the fine clipping plane and then skin the part. This skin here is the first side. But off camera I scanned this part also from the second side. Then I merged scan point clouds into one mesh body. As I am starting new skin her I again define clipping plane with three points in parallel plane. This ensures I am only scanning the part and not the surface where it lays. The equipment used to skin the parts is hexagon absolute arm with three scanning attachment. This is one amazing piece of a machine used in manufacturing facility where I am working. It can be used to quickly generate measuring reports for parts and verify that the quality is always top notch. Also it can be used to examine welding deformations via comparing 3D scanned object with the CAD model and then add color mapping. First position is finished and I got one point cloud. Now I need to reposition the part to get access to the surfaces where I can't reach in first position. With scanning the second position, I got point clouds from two different positions. In this situation, I can combine point clouds in Hexagon software, then export mesh body what I can use in any CAD software as reference geometry. Only few more scans and I can jump into CAD to start assembling all of the mesh bodies together. Now I started to smashing 3D scanned bodies together to get reference geometry for sketching. As I got somehow all the bodies into right place then I started to create reference planes to the scanned surfaces. Then I can start making reference sketches. First, I make sketch for the mainframe and mounting points. Then the back face what basically is two faces with slight angle. There I sketch outer contour of the original speaker box and back side of the door pockets. 
Now to the front side. This was very tricky because there was not any flat face to use as a reference and everything is angled weirdly. When I got all sketches into places I liked them, then I converted these sketches to SolidWorks and started to model first version of the speaker box. This here is the first version of the box. Later you see why it is called first version, not just a speaker box. Now to the part why this was first revision of the speaker box. First little collision between door panel and the speaker box. The collision is happening in such place where it is not simple to modify the box and I can't remove more material from door panel. Second, but much smaller issue is one mounting hole needs to be moved few millimeters. This is hopefully the final version of the speaker enclosure. With this design, I was also able to remove three long welding seams and I replaced these with bends. With this method, I hope to see less welding deformation, easier assembly process, and overall better quality. The positive side effect is also shorter welding time. Actually, I was so confident in this design, I ordered parts for both sides. So it better be good one for this time. I will let you know how it goes if I assemble new parts. But as for this time, this was all and please subscribe and hit the thumbs up.